Check in and say hello to everybody. We're on the ICOM 7600 today. I got the uh, Swan 240 down for recapping, and the Swan 500 CX wouldn't turn on this this afternoon, so uh, I had to resort to the ICOM. Anyway, I just want to say hello and hope everybody has a great week. W5CRY. All right, well, fine business there, Charles. I'm glad to get you back in there. And, uh, well, I know how that is with the old Riddick. Sometimes you uh, <laughs> sometimes when they sit up for a while, they kind of get ornery when you want to turn them on there. So uh, yeah, nothing wrong with using a solid state rig to check in. You don't have to have a, have a swan radio to check in. And I've got a bunch of them that I need to work on around here, that's for sure, because uh, I have uh, not done any radio work over the summer. I've been too busy doing stuff out in the yard there. So uh, I've got a long list, but I think there'll be uh, there'll be plenty of time for that yeah, when the cold weather rolls in. Anyway, glad to get you in there today, Charles. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for stopping by there, Roger. Roger that, Dale. Have a good that good week. W5CRY. All right, let me clear with you. Want to pick up Rudy out there? Uh, KC5YL, W4WHW. Hey, Rudy. Hey, Dale. W4WHW. KC5YL. I hope I'm getting out here. I'm let me see something here. Hello, one, two, one, two. I think maybe my battery's uh, getting a little bit low in my um, in my D104 here. I'm going to have to check that out. Anyway, uh, the name is Rudy. This is KC5YL. And I am uh, running the 600 twins today with a Mark II and a D104 to a dipole. So, uh, and I think maybe uh, my... Uh, my modulation may be down a little bit, so I may have to check something out. Anyway, uh, that's all I have, Bill. Uh, nothing new on this end. This is KC5YL. Okay, Rudy, we'll find this. Well, I was going to say, uh, when you first started, you were kind of weak there, and then uh, then you picked it up, and uh, toward the end there, you were all the way up to an F7, just good solid copy there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if it was uh, if it was microphone or if it was the man flipping around. You just don't ever know. But uh, anyway, you were following it in. I guess that's all that counts, over. Okay, well, I changed, uh, changed microphones out here. I don't know. Something's going on. Maybe I'm not tuned up right, so uh, I'll have to go check that out. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I got to get out of here and get down the road. This is KC5 Wild. All right, fine business, Rudy. We'll catch you tomorrow on the 258 group. Have a great rest of the day there. And uh, if, you, uh, if you find out what's going on there, hopefully it's nothing too serious there. Now it'll be clear with KC5YL. This is W4 WHW with a swan user now. Let's pick up uh, Rick up in Minnesota. KC1 PEB W4. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Hey, Rick, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Rick, I'm going to get a little bit of a call here. Hey, Rick, Bye, 
that is, Rick. I don't know why I thought you were in Minnesota. I think I actually miswrote that on my log sheet here because uh, I, I should have wrote down you were in Maine because I remember you telling me you were in Maine, but for some reason I wrote it down as MN. <laughs> go figure. Well, that's the way it goes. But anyway, I got a good copy on you down here in North Carolina this afternoon. Over. Yeah, I have an excellent copy on you. Uh, preferred antenna for running the net because it hears equally good in all directions there, over. Yeah, 
Now that, uh, uh, boy, that uh, 700 CX, that's a nice rig there. And I don't blame you for using the 508 VFO with it. Uh, uh, the external VFOs seem to be uh, seem to be pretty darn good, you know, as far as stability goes, particularly after you warm them up. Uh, you know, they just seem to be rock solid. I uh, I like to operate my probably my favorite rig to operate around here, which right now is down for maintenance is my Swan 400. I've got a 400 uh, with the uh, 420 VFO on it. And uh, it's uh, when you first turn it on and it's cool, uh, you know, it, uh, it drifts around a little bit for about the first 30 minutes or so. But then after that, it's, it's pretty darn stable. So uh, that, that's sort of my favorite rig. But I've got to I've got to take that one apart and do some cleaning. And I, 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 last time I tuned it up, I heard some marking back in the PA case. So I think I got some dust in there in the uh, loading capacitor that I need to clean out. And then of course I'll uh, I'll do the relays while I'm in there too. That's always a good one to check. <laughs> yeah, those relays, man. I tell you, those are the those are the bane of all of us Ron folks, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it's good to hear the old uh, the old rigs on the air there. And uh, like I said uh, earlier, Leo, it doesn't matter what you check in. We have always glad to hear folks check in and talk about swan gear, even if they don't have anything to operate right now. And that's kind of my situation because uh, I'm not uh, I'm not running any of my swan gear right now. In fact, uh, the one I really like to run, like I said, is down for me. So uh, that kind of goes with the territory. But anyway, thanks for stopping by, Leo. Good to hear you, and hopefully uh, maybe we'll hear you back in here on next week. Uh, NK and L. W. Okay, five business, Leo. And by the way, I was going to say, man, we must have a pipeline between us there because you were uh, on that last transmission, you were 20 over S9. Just uh, armchair copy down here. So uh, the uh, K3 and the KPA 500 are doing a great job there. Have a great week, Leo. We'll catch you next week there. Uh, that'll be clear with uh, NKL. This is W4 WHW and the Swan Devil. Pick up Andy down in Texas. KD5 WR. W4 WHW and the Swan Devil. Hey, good afternoon, Andy. Well, you're not real strong up here today, Andy. Uh, you're, you're barely wiggling the needle there, but I got a copy on you there, over. Yeah,
on five business. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get you tomorrow there on the two five eight group. Yeah, the band is uh, kind of falling out. I think they're doing the west coast and east coast. And you were barely winning with the meter there on the last go round there, but uh, I was able to pull most of it out there. And uh, I'm glad to get you in here this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I don't think it was any equipment there. I think it's just band conditions because uh, it seems like the band's been uh, going out. I know. I know. Like Stephen said at the top of the list there, he said usually about this time of the day is about the time the band falls out between the East Coast and the West Coast there, so I uh, wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on. Uh, but anyway, we got you in there, and uh, that's all that counts. And uh, maybe we'll catch you tomorrow on the 258 game. Uh, so I was trying to think if I had anything going on tomorrow. I don't think I do. Uh, I've got some antenna work I've got to do around here. So if it doesn't rain, boy, I tell you, it poured rain all day yesterday. We wasn't able to get a thing done. And then, uh, of course, we had company this weekend, too, so that hadn't helped either. <laughs> so it's been one of those weekends where just up it has worked out right there. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get something done tomorrow. We'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, uh, the 400 to 420 and the Mark II are doing you a good job there, Jay, even with the poor band conditions there, over. Right? Beautiful looking 175 he's got, uh, gold paint. It's one of the Benson, Arizona units there. And I think I have one also. I think I've got uh, one of those 175 gold paint units too. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's not been restored yet, but uh, boy, I tell you, those things are just rare as hen's teeth. And if you find one, uh, boy, you definitely need to restore it and hold on to it because they're just beautiful regs there. And like Jack says, you know, the 100 series is probably the best, one of the best series of Swan radios that uh, Swan ever made because they're just, uh, they're so simple and there's just, uh, there's just hardly nothing to go wrong with them, so they're very easy to maintain. So, uh, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll hear them on the air one day with us there, ever. Okay, five minutes, Jay. Well, uh, maybe we'll catch you tomorrow on the 258 group. And uh, thanks for checking in this afternoon, and uh, glad to be able to get you in here before the band died on me entirely. Okay, fellas, that brings me to the bottom of the list, so uh, let me see if I uh, take one last round of check-ins and see if we got any further check-ins for the nest this afternoon. This is W4 WHW with the Swan Nest. Uh, do we have any further check-ins? Please come now. Yellow Line Echo 8, Quebec Uniform. Uniform. Uh, can you get the name and location, please, sir? Roger, Bill. Name here is Lino, Lima, India, November. Yeah, I checked in on the other network, too. Do you have something? Yeah, okay. I thought your call sounded familiar there, Lino. Uh, I do remember hearing you on the tech there. So uh, we'll be back to you in just a minute uh, for uh, for comments there. And I heard another uh, I heard another interloper in there that said me. <laughs> And I know who that is. That's Jack down in South Mississippi. How you doing, Jack? KG5 GP, W4 WHW. We got you in there number 15. Over. All good. All good. Yeah, I wasn't getting in. I'm hearing everybody pretty good. But the band is not doing too good going on wise. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'll be number 15. Thanks. Yes, sir. Okay, let me let me check and see if I didn't miss anybody. Uh, do we have any further check-ins? Please call W4 WHW. Nope, didn't hear anybody else. So uh, let's go ahead and bounce back up and pick up Lino up there. Yeah, Lino, I thought I, I thought your call sounded familiar there. And I know I've heard it at least a couple of times there on the tech net there, and I should have recognized it. K-E-A-Q-U, W-4-W-H-W. Right, Lino. Yeah, Roger, W-4-W-H-W. K-E-A-Q-U, returning. Yeah, well, nice day, and a rainy day, but back and forth here. I've been well as where it was, Virginia. Rough County. Uh, and just anyway, we're using the county where we're the top five seven eight one six five eight five We haven't fired up the swan yet today, but we're running through an SB 200. Uh, with a hot square vertical, five band vertical, and the, like I said, the weather's crazy today. It rains and sunshine, it rains and sunshine. It's that kind of day. Your thing was coming up a little bit, uh, but it looks like the band is going short there, Bill. W4 WHW, KEA for you in the Cornette. 
Jay was saying that's uh, that's probably one of my favorite rigs, and uh, Jay said that was uh, that was probably his favorite rig too. So I tell you, those four hundreds, boy, I tell you, they're hard to beat when you get them working right there. Over. Yes, they are. But uh, it's uh, really a remarkable radio. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> anyway, 73 Jack, and thanks for being at the bottom of the list today. And with that, we're going to say 73 to the group there. Hopefully everybody has a great rest of the week there. And if you didn't get to check in today, uh, we apologize. Hopefully we'll be able to get you in next week. Please stop by with us again uh, next Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on or about this same frequency immediately following the heat getting out. Uh, from the Swan Unit, and we'll look for you then. This is W4 WHW, now it's plays the Swan Nest. 73, guys. Hey, Bill, KC5YL for a comment. Yeah, go ahead, Rudy. Well, I took your advice. I flipped the band switch back and forth and rechecked my tuning, and I think I'm back to snow. Over. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's that. Now, like like uh, Jack, and Jack was saying here, the band switch is the uh, one of the most problematic parts of the radio and then probably followed closely by the relays. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of times when things aren't working right, if you exercise that band switch a couple of times, you'll find out that they straighten themselves out. And that's usually a uh, usually a uh, hallmark of uh, some band switch cleaning could be uh, needed in your immediate future there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, glad to hear you got it straight now, ready. Yeah, it sounds good now, ever. All right, you just faded it out on me. Hey, I'll talk to y'all later. This is KC5 Wild. Good man. All right, 5 Ready, 73. KC5 Wild. W4, W8, W. We're signing clear.